how to work with the saddle tabs. So what you have when you order these, when you're doing your sizing, you'll have an eight inch on 10 inch, 10 inch on 12 inch, six inch on eight inch. And what that means is your eight inch, for example, this is an eight inch on 10. This is your eight inch, and this part is designed to fit on a 10 inch. So an eight on 10 is an eight inch neck with a 10 inch base. So this is going onto a 10 inch duck. When you wanna cut these in to a piece of round duck, what you wanna make sure is that this neck is faced the direction of airflow. So if airflow is going to my right, you don't wanna have this turned this way. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get minimal air out of this, if any. These are designed to catch air as it's going in the direction of the neck. So to cut these into a piece of round pipe, what you're gonna to wanna to do is center it in the spot where you need it. You're gonna take your marker. You're gonna trace the inside of this. And to remove this, once you're done tracing it, you're gonna have an egg shape. And then from there, you're gonna grab your drill. Again, use a pre-hole with a screw so you don't warp your duct. Take your unibit, create a hole for your snips. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut out this egg shape that you created by tracing. On the part that you're cutting out, watch your hands. The way that the snip push the metal, it creates rigid sides on that and it makes it really easy to cut your hands. When you're turning corners like that, you're gonna make it a lot easier on yourself peeling this part of the sheet metal back. And then as you go, just guide your snips by pulling this back. If you try to cut by leaving it, you're gonna end up with your snips pinched like that, just going back and forth. Pull this back. So what you'll end up with is your cut piece and the size of your saddle tap from that hole you traced. After you have it cut, what you're gonna wanna do is set the saddle tap on the round duct, and you always wanna watch where you're setting it. If you have it offset from how you originally traced it, what you can do is you turn that eight inch duct into about half of that by cutting off the opening. So you wanna make sure that you get it lined up to where it was, put some pressure on it so it doesn't slide around on you. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your drill, and you're gonna to wanna to screw on the back side of it. And that locks it in place. If it starts moving it around, at least you have it pivoted in the center. And then what you wanna do is look inside and maneuver it to where it's center there and then you reach your hand in and you're going to curl your fingers around the inside of the duct to lock it in place and then just hit it screw in all four corners after your second screw you're free to let it go a little more it's already locked in place what you want to do is put screws in places that are going to start to create a tighter seal right here Because after we have this all locked in, we create 
an airtight seal with our duct sealer. Anytime you cut or attach two pieces of galvanized sheet metal, what you're going to want to do is use the duct sealer or what some of us call in the industry pookie. Because when this metal starts to sweat from having cold air running through it, this duct sealer doesn't run. It doesn't start to wear off after it's dried in place. You create a permanent seal. This duct sealer is completely water-based. It can be messy and it does get stuck on clothes if you get it in big areas, but as far as touching your skin, it's completely safe, not chemical based. And when you're done with your saddle top, you should have it faced in the direction of airflow, screwed in all your corners, and sealed with pookie or duct sealer.